All right, 6 a.m. Just woke up and I just want to explain to you why I'm making this video. Most people online, they're not that authentic, are they? Most people just explain to you how self-improvement works, exactly how to meditate, exactly how to go to the gym. They don't actually show you what it actually looks like. You know, the struggles and the aloneness that you feel, you know, and not, it's, it's really not that fun most of the time. I mean, you know, you can be happy during this, you know, you're making progress and stuff, but the point of self-improvement to me is not exactly to have fun. It's to improve yourself. Hence the name. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a day in the life, exactly what it actually looks like. And if you're on self-improvement right now, hopefully you can relate. I'm going to be showing you that, I mean, this is what it actually looks like. You know, waking up at 6 a.m., not next to anybody, getting up and immediately taking a cold shower, which is exactly what I'll be doing right now. Have you ever tried waking up and then hopping right into a cold shower? Fucking sucks. What you can't do is make a warm shower turn into a cold shower. It literally just completely destroys the cold shock. What you need to be doing is making the entire shower cold. Yeah, I understand that you won't get as clean. You can do a warm shower later in the day or earlier in the day. What you need to be doing is that you need to be right under the shower head looking straight at it and then turning it on right underneath. The flinch period is insane. You're gonna be like hesitating so much, but it's, it's the hardest way to do it, but it's also the best way to do it. You get the best effect because the shock is absolutely insane. Fuck. Fun. I've got the usual red skin from the cold shower. You know, many people look at me and they're like, oh yeah, you should go on a skincare routine. Oh yeah, you should do this, you should do that, dog. I am like the self-improvement guy, okay? Obviously, I have a skincare routine. Like, everybody who sees you with zits thinks that you're not on a skincare routine and it's literally annoying as hell because like, <laughs> I mean, I am, dude, but I just have like, Horrible genetics. I mean, my dad had like horrible acne when he was younger and now, you know, not much that you can change, but doing what I can. Remain hydrated in the mornings. Because, like, overnight and stuff, you're, you get way more depleted and stuff. What? You know, every single person 
I mean, not every single person, but a lot of people have commented on my channel saying, oh yeah, put a shirt on, bro, put a shirt on. You're always like shirtless and stuff. It doesn't look good. Dude, I mean, you just saw back there. I, I only would not have a shirt on because beforehand, you know, walking around the house and stuff, I didn't have a shirt on. And that was the most authentic to me. And now, as we're getting into winter, I mean, this is Wisconsin, and it's, it's literally Halloween, I think. Yeah, October 31st. And it snowed overnight. We have a thin layer of snow outside. So now I'm going to be transitioning to more shirts and maybe sweatshirts because it's getting colder and colder. And the heat in our house is going to be getting colder and colder. Right here, I've got eggs and oatmeal. Gonna take this down. It's gonna be pretty difficult because I'm always full in the mornings, but let's do it. It's literally Halloween and I already have to do this shit. Seat is full of snow, bro. So basically, currently I'm on my way to uh, college. Basically, so right now I am in high school, but I'm doing college while I'm doing high school. So it's kind of a grind. And basically, once I actually graduate high school, I'll get an associate's degree. So and business management, so that's pretty sick, but I will say, dude, I've not learned shit from it. Like, I've not learned anything useful that I can actually use in, you know, actual business. I've learned way more doing actual business than just learning from it. So, but luckily I didn't have to pay for it, so. Yeah, I never, I never turn on music in my car, of course. It completely takes away from my mindfulness. Only when I'm really with friends, I turn it on. But even then, I'm kind of like annoying in the fact that I just want it to be turned off. And my friends are like normal people. So yeah, there's, you're always kind of alone, but you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta be annoying sometimes, you know? You gotta get out of your comfort zone. <sighs> this is what we got here. All right, I should probably stop recording while driving. <sighs> All right, I finished school. Off to the gym right now. Gonna hit back. You know, back when I was little, I used to think that the back was just like a big bone on your body. I didn't even know that it was a muscle, but that's besides the point. So yeah, we're gonna get juicy back pump. Gonna hit it good, gonna hit it hard. And yeah, let's do this. And also during my workout, I, I don't put in any earbuds. I don't listen to any music. I don't listen to anything. I just work out in complete silence. And I think that that's the best way to do it because that way your mindfulness isn't taken away. And your mindfulness is literally everything in the workout. The focus is literally what makes you push incredibly hard. So with that little tip, I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna hit back as hard as possible and I'll see you after I get out. it's four o'clock i just finished the workout and at this point i always record so right after i come back from the gym i always record okay i just finished recording the video it's called how to become a different person this winter i might change up the title but it might be out while this video comes out it might be the next video following this video we'll see how long it takes me to edit this one but 
yeah, this is, it's going to be an incredible video. I provide a blueprint on exactly how to become a different person, a different man, a superior man through the winter. So you're really going to like that one. And right now I'm going to be doing my feeder workout. So it isn't fun. You know, I, what a feeder workout is, is that basically every single day, well, most days, maybe like six, five days a week, you train the exact same body parts. And basically the idea is that the nuclei, that you get like more nuclei in your muscle. And then once you actually take a break and you get back to training that muscle regularly, as you always do, it gets like, it, it explodes. So I'm doing that for my shoulders right now, because to me, they're the most important body part for aesthetics. And yeah, but when I saw this fit, when I saw how it worked and everything, I saw that it was complete bro science. But this is exactly something, this is a perfect example of, you know, something that is bro science could absolutely be true, which is exactly why I'm trying it. I'm going in my basement for like five to 10 minutes every single day, grinding out shoulders for no other reason than this, both the seeking of knowledge and, you know, the, the chance that I might actually get massive shoulders from this. So yeah, we're, we're going to do that. You know, no, no uh, guarantee of getting bigger shoulders from training them every day. It's a good content idea, though. I'll definitely make a video on it showing the results. But yeah, right now, for now, I've got a week left of training them every day, I think. We're going to get to it. You might have noticed, well, I'm talking to you, I'm pretty stuffy and, you know, my voice isn't as deep as it usually is. And that's because, yeah, I am stuffy, my nose is plugged and I have an incredibly sore throat. But you know what? I haven't brought this up in the entire video because it, it literally completely slipped to my mind. Because why would I use sickness as an excuse to do, you know, what? What would I use it as an excuse for it? To not push hard? I mean, no, I'm, I'm not a bitch like that. You know, and most people make excuses just like that. And it's absolute bullshit. You know what I mean? Because sickness is an opportunity. I mean, this, this weird optimistic mindset of always thinking about the positive, it absolutely makes it so that you are more successful. Because think about it, I could be thinking of my sickness as something that holds me back, something that, oh yeah, I just need to stay in my bed for the entire day, but no, I'm still getting after it. And this is an opportunity. Want to know why? Because guess what? After this sickness, I'll thrive. After this sickness, I'll be able to work way harder because if I can work just as hard in sickness, you best believe that when I come out of that sickness, I'm going to pass all these motherfuckers. So yeah, now, um, you know what? I'm going to do some client work. I'm going to um, respond to everybody in the community, get everybody set up with a good plan to move forward. I need to buy more iPhone storage. But anyway, I need to talk to the clients, you know, let them know what the best actionable step towards their goal is. And yeah, that'll take me like one hour, two hours, and then I'm, I'll probably you know, help my mom out with giving out Halloween candy and stuff like that. So that's going to be pretty fun. And I almost forgot to tell you that uh, I didn't record lunch because, you know, I'm eating it with my friends and some of them know about this YouTube channel, some of them don't. But over lunch, I ate like semi shit, you know, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. I think that no, it was shit. It was not semi shit. It was shit. It was this like benefit bar and you know, they're supposed to be healthy, but me and you know that those aren't healthy at all. And I also ate like <laughs> this extremely processed, 
banana bread. I'm going to be honest with you. I do not have the biggest diet, which is exactly why I don't bring it up in most of my videos because I don't really have the best diet. You know, I'm a hard gainer. I, it's extremely difficult for me to lose weight. I could be eating until I'm full every single meal and still not gain weight. Literally, it seems like right now, I mean, if you, if you have another idea, then let me know in the comments. But currently, if I don't feel like throwing up at the end of every single day, I will not gain weight guaranteed. For me to gain weight, I need to feel like throwing up at the end of every single day. And it absolutely sucks. And, you know, I looked up some like, I looked up if appetite increaser pills are a thing. And they're, they're like probably placebo, but I'm, my mom doesn't let me take them anyway because she thinks that I'll turn into a fat fuck. But you know what? That's a bit of a side tangent, but yeah. So basically conclusion of me talking to you is I eat like shit. I'm not gonna lie to you. And, but I don't let that hinder my performance. And yeah, let's move on. It's nighttime, 621 I think. It's crazy to me how these days keep getting shorter and shorter, but. Yep, going to MMA practice. <sighs> you know, at this point, <sighs> really just want to go to sleep. But you got to do what you got to do. As I usually say in my videos, no matter how you feel, really, you just gotta do it. It's time to make the shake of shit. It's gonna be a shake of, I mean, not like shit food, but like probably food that's best not for my consumption. I mean, we'll see. I'll show you the ingredients. I think there's like peanut butter milk, um, protein powder and stuff like that. Also, I, I wear robes all the time and the reason why I never wear any of them in my videos is because some dumbass in the comment section will tell me that I'm a Hamza copy. <laughs> yeah, that's literally the only reason why I don't wear a robe. Because it seems like every person who's making self-improvement YouTube videos is now a uh, Hamza copy. So I don't wear this robe at all in any of my videos for that reason. And in fact, before most of my videos, I'm wearing a robe and I just take it off because I don't want to look like a Hamza copy. But anyway, let's make this shake. I just found the shake, wrapping up some stuff and about to do my usual night nightly routine, which features visualizations, affirmations, and meditation. So yeah, I'm going to get to that. And hopefully this video showed you that, you know, self-improvement isn't that fun. And it shows you that you are not alone. And if you're not on self-improvement yet, it shows you a realistic expecta expectation to see what it's like. And it might seem depressing. It might seem like, oh yeah, he must be like extremely sad with the life. I have, I am more happy, far more happy than I have ever been in life. And the only way for you to figure out how is for you to do it yourself. So if you like this video, my channel name is him, not because I'm him, but because we're all striving to be him, right? And hope I can help you on that journey just as I did today. So if you like that message, then do subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Also, let me know if you want another episode.